Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to talk about the quark era. Now the quark era is the next event in the universe which happens between 10 to the minus 12 seconds and 10 to the minus 6 seconds. The temperature is still dropping. The temperature now reached a temperature of 10 to the 15 Kelvin at the beginning of the quark era and 10, 10 to the 13 Kelvin at the end of the quark era. So the temperature is, is dropping rather quickly from 100, oh this is 1000 trillion to 10 trillion degrees Kelvin. So still very very hot too hot for particles to be able to coalesce into something that we're familiar with today. So what's going on during this period? Well, one of the main events is that the electroweak force now separates into the two distinct forces it's made out of, the electromagnetic force and the nuclear weak force. So now we have the four forces of the universe, gravity, the nuclear strong force, the electromagnetic force, and the nuclear weak force separated and ready to activate within the universe. Secondly, the Higgs field is beginning to interact with the basic particles that are there, namely quarks. Quarks are the basic particles of hadrons. Hadrons are, uh, are made up of what we call baryons and mesons. Baryons are made of three quarks and mesons are made out of two quarks and we'll get into more detail of that later. So it's still too hot for the fundamental particles, the quarks, uh, that now have mass but they're not able yet to create those hadrons. They're not able to combine together to form the particles like neutrons and protons that we're familiar with today. So they still exist as their own individual particles but the Higgs field is now beginning to interact with them to give them gravity. And the way the Higgs field gives gravity to particles is kind of like a marble moving through syrup. There is a retarding force there, or at least something that appears like a retarding force, and so that gives them the effect of having mass. That's the way the theory goes. And so the Higgs field is now beginning to do that on our fundamental particles, the quarks, but still at these temperatures, it's still too hot for the quarks to combine together to form into the hadrons that now make up the universe. So that the temperature has to cool down a little bit more before that begins to happen. That will come in the next era, as we call it. So now we are ready. We have the forces separated, quarks are there. It's still kind of like a quark soup, not ready yet to make the individual particles, but the man, they begin to have mass because the temperature now is low enough for the Higgs field to begin to interact with those particles. And that's the quark era in the beginning of the Big Bang universe.